Yo, what's up guys? It's your boy Hot Gamer Dude back again with a brand new video and today I am basically gonna teach you guys how to apply for Classic Counter and it increase your chances to get in much faster. This is kind of like an alternative to CS Supremacy if you guys, uh, you know, know about that. This is like another project kind of similar to Supremacy. But yeah, today's video is just gonna be teaching you guys what the best method is to apply and make sure when you're applying you follow the rules and you have like the right requirements to actually set up your account to make sure you're compatible to join these servers ASAP. So the Discord's gonna be down below. Make sure when you join the server, there's a whole channel for whitelist requirements. Look, as you can see here, um, there's like a full list basically on telling you what the the requirements are. Uh, I'll just run through this quickly. So, you know, make sure your account's public. You know, make sure nothing's private, your inventory, anything like that. You must be verified. You have a verified role. I've already done this already. Like I'm already whitelisted, so I don't need to do any of these things. Make sure your Steam level is level 15 or higher. This actually doesn't matter 100%. I'm gonna get back to to it like why why it isn't but um tend to somewhat known paid games gary's mod rainbow six siege stuff like that your main account must be yeah zero bands you can't be vac banned on any any games that you have that you own because obviously they don't want any cheaters you know any risk of uh, having any cheaters within the game because obviously this is a community based game so when it comes to banning people it, it takes it's quite a long process in it so they're trying to make sure the accounts everyone that joins us is is clean and there's no dodgy business going on yeah no no recent bans on other accounts as well if you are banned send a full sc full screenshot of your bans you can check your history here i don't know if there's 100 but maybe it, if it's the games that don't really relate to counter-strike maybe that can increase your chances of getting in if you do have a ban you can get whitelisted with a low level so this is where this is why i said the steam level uh doesn't really count because if you have 50 plus paid games you can get into the server um pretty much that's pretty much like a quick ticket to get in if you have these many paid games on your steam account if your account or inventory is worth a 100 euros plus or more um you can also check that account value on steam db as well that will kind of just calculate your whole account just to see uh how much your account is that maybe like include games you know uh inventory value stuff like that you can't beg like make sure you don't beg or harass to join these servers because you know you will get you you will lower your chances of actually getting into the into the classic counter game itself you make sure you're not make sure everything is set off private it's saying here you will be fully partially set to private you can change private settings here um yeah th these are basically just things that like you'll be ignored if you if you have these things enabled i already kind of crossed that already you won't send full screenshots of your bands if they are on your account that is another reason if you will be ignored or basically if your application will be deleted so make sure these three statements right here you don't have these uh enabled or like anything related to these are on your account because they will just ignore it and you'll be waiting for months you will get in so make sure you read this thoroughly and carefully so once you've done that go to the whitelist manual as you can see here it takes equivalently to two to four weeks to get into whitelisted to get whitelisted and like i said make sure you check the requirements make sure it's checking all checking all the right boxes and yeah that is one way to apply now this is the actual new method that they got so right here which is really really cool they have their own website so hold on let me just log in real quick so this is their new website right here and they have a new feature where it's an auto whitelist you know like i said about the requirements make sure you know all those requirements are up to up to par you know make sure you're meeting all requirements to get accepted into it because you're going to be waiting long and then they're probably going to delete your whitelist and you won't even know that if you've been accepted or not. um you're most likely like the only way you'll know is you have if you have a role and now basically this whole new website right here an automatic whitelist um obviously because i've already been accepted i'm already in the whitelist so i don't need to you know do this but uh if you go through the website and you click whitelist there should be like a um and make sure you're verified as well make sure you have the verified role in the discord channel just to get through the application if i'm not mistaken there should be like an application uh sign in where you put all your details in to kind of uh let the staff know you know you're a legit player and you're just really interested in playing classic counter i think i think this method is a bit quicker uh and obviously if you get denied you can always reapply once per two weeks which is pretty cool so that's pretty much the whole shebang the whole thing on how to apply uh i really love how they got this automatic whitelist application thing going on because you know there's a lot of people trying to get in and stuff like that and i feel like this is a really cool way to, to get people in as fast as possible but once you get in and you actually get accepted to the whitelist like for example you'll see you'll see channels like this on the side you know there's just people talking i don't know why my man's got a picture of a, a whole ass jet in chat but um like 
for example if i say yo you can see you know i have the whitelist role right there so once you're in you know there'll be like a whole channel right here for the download It'll, there'll be a channel right here on how to install the game all you have to do is download 7-zip i use winrar i don't think it really matters also here's the game make sure you download the game right here which uh which will be provided under a google drive or a media file which is it's really easy it's only six gigabytes which is really small bro i, I thought it was gonna be way bigger than that but um yeah after you do that make sure you extract it you add the exe to your steam library or as a non-steam game so let me just show you guys how how that works so basically as you can see here i've got classic counter right here you go to add game add non-steam game right here and then basically you click the exe that it provides within this uh in the raw and then when you load up the game if you have any issues make sure you go to troubleshoot find your issue right here and also they got a bunch of servers right here so if you go to classic counter servers like basically all the servers right here like they got it, it they got a wide range of servers so they got kz they got they got surf they got pub they got pug games bro they got so many options uh so many server options which is really really cool by the way rip harmy i think he was one of the owners of classic counter so my condolences to him and his family. Pray this, uh, you know, this project lives on for forever because this is really, re it's a really, really fun thing that they're bringing out, bring about the old Counter Strike. But um, yeah, the Olam servers are really, really cool. If you guys didn't know, they actually have like case drops, so you can actually open cases. So basically, it's a bit weird uh, how it works. Like for example, let me just show you an example. So as you can see on the website right here, and this is basically, this is only for the Olam servers but they have uh case drops and if i'm not mistaken skin drops as well and if you if you go into the server do ws you'll literally be right uh directed to this literal website right here and if i log in i can show you like my inventory and everything is crazy so it's a bit it's a bit weird to compare to how supremacy works like your inventory is actually set within this website and then you can you can you know you know quit open cases or stuff like that like they drop like cobblestone cases they drop 2014 cat or 14 k like capsule sorry like it's it's insane it's insane it's insane like they got a ton of stuff right here like you can you can get demos like from your recent games which is really cool but after you're done with everything and you completed all the steps you should be led to this game right here when you load it up and as you can see stuff were a bit different you know it's the ogcs as you can see the old ui this uh the main site right here is actually classic counter right here so all the servers that you want to join and stuff like that are actually here to your disposal so for example if i wanted to join the server right here i could just copy and paste it open the open the console just like that boom we're in like i said before this is uh the same server that i'm joining right now is where you can get case drops so make sure you look out for the olam servers they're the ones with the case drops when i go on to other servers i'm pretty much sure the rest of them are like ws servers so you know like where you put the command in chat for ws and you can change to whatever skin you want uh as you can see we're loading into the game right now you can see it's og nuke so as you can see getting into the server right now boom we're just gonna change team and like i said this is a this is a uh, this is like one of my skins right here as you can see uh if i if i change weapons as well like boom yeah literally so in your inventory you can also they also do stickers as well where you can apply your stickers which is pretty cool there's so many skins and so many stickers that are in the game that it's actually like it's it's pretty cool like it actually motivates you to play the game which i do enjoy and also i think this feature is new as well so once like the more you play the more you know the better skins like the, the higher chance of you getting a knife or a really good skin like i said when you apply the wait time is going to be two to four weeks of waiting time so make sure you apply as soon as possible and like i said make sure you read the requirements because you know if you slip up you're going to get the clients and you don't you don't want to get you don't want to wait another two weeks it's just it's not worth it at the end so make sure you do you know your research make sure you hit all the requirements on your steam account and that's pretty much it if you guys got any questions you know make sure you, you know leave your leave your concerns down below and i try to answer everyone as quick as possible yeah that's pretty much it if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you leave a like subscribe it's been your boy hot gamer dude and i'm out